All right, geeks, we're doing some great giveaways on the channel, so stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll tell you what to do and how you can win. All right, geeks, we're back with the Civil War Giant Man. I was debating between this and the Invincible Iron Man that got released. That Invincible Iron Man is basically just a repaint, so I can go ahead and hold off on that one. I wanted to go ahead and get this Giant Man out because I know a lot of people don't have the bath, and this is not a reissue of the bath because it has some updates to make it more uh, movie accurate. So those that missed out on the bath can go ahead and get this figure by itself. So let's crack him open and see what he's talking about. Let's go. All right, geeks, we got Scott Lang here, MCU version from Civil War, Giant Man. Um, this is actually one of the baths that I have not collected. I think I only have two of the figures from that wave. Um, of the modern waves, when I say modern, I mean the ones that are in these boxes, I think since 2013, I have most of the bath waves completed, and if I don't, um, I'm off by one or two figures. This is one of maybe two bath waves that I just am not close to completing. So this was nice for me, because I get to see what he looks like and experience him prior to building the bath. Oh, I thought he was, I thought he was strapped in, but that's actually the guy that is uniform. And it's kind of cool because they the Batman is the hanger back from Civil War where he first turned into Batman. That's how far I put the box away. Get this out. Get this out on the side of the box of him growing. Iron Man looking on. Same Iron on the other side. Scott Lang goes giant size to join Captain America in battle against other heroes. Straight into the point. Pop him out. All right, so he has no accessories, so this one's going to be quick and easy. <laughs> Look how they had him posed in the box so he could fit. It's kind of awesome. All right, we're going to stand him up straight, and let's get those arms down. All right, we're going to stand him up straight. Let's get those arms down. Just like that. Let's see. There we go. Uh oh, don't want to stand. That's a very is in all its glory. Head turns all the way around. Head does go down a little bit. As far as it comes up. Arms do not go very high, as you can see. He have problems at the gym. He does have double elbow joints. Bicep swivel. All the way around. Abdominal crunch. There's two degrees, two clicks. Uh, legs. Ooh, you can do a split. So not much to him. So not much to him. Here he is close up. You can see back, detail is back. I like that leathery finish look. It does look just like the movie. And ooh, I got some discoloration there. Paint missing. That sucks. I'll have to fill that in. But the proportions are great. You see his thighs don't protrude like a lot of figures do. Alright. Everything seems to line up nicely. 
that's the other side. There he is from the front. That's down. There's his face again with better lighting. There's his back. Maybe you can see that leathery look a little bit better now. I mean, he's pretty awesome, man. I think he's a boss figure. Tough. I'm going to pose him up. Let me stand him next to a couple of other figures. You can see how he compares in height. All right, for size comparison, I've got him next to Mr. Sinister, um, the original first appearance Hulk from the Galactus Wave and the Wendigo Bath. You can see he's tall, but he's not that tall. He's nowhere near as big as he should be if they were trying to go to scale. But eh, he's pretty big and he's decent, but man, it's kind of disappointing. Because if you're trying to actually have Giant Man, you kind of just have really big guy instead of Giant Man. He should be at least 50% taller to make it realistic. And I know 50% taller isn't to scale, but it would be great if he was towering above some of these figures. But I mean, he only makes Mr. Sinister look small, but still that's only, if that was real life, that would be like a three or four foot height difference. But anyway, besides that disappointment, I really like the figure. I like the paint job on him. I like the details. I like the texture. And I like the feel. He's nice and stiff. And he's going to be great for posing. Alright geeks, that was a quick and dirty hit. I got to go to bed because I got to work in the morning. Appreciate you checking it out. Spread the word. Um, check the end of the video. We're doing some giveaways. And also, pay attention to social media. I uh, finished building or collecting the a second kingpin bath so I can do the shadow king so I have a couple of figures I want to give away I want to give away um, Night Thrasher and I think Black Cat whoever had the right arm yeah because I um, was able to get all the pieces except for those two so I had to buy those two figures so I'm gonna give away those two figures in a flash giveaway in the next couple of days so be alert check it out geek out All right, Geeks, at 250 subscribers, you're gonna be giving away Jubilee and Scorpion. Then at 350, we're gonna give away the ever-elusive Beast figure along with a Weapon X. All you gotta do to be eligible to win is subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and then go to our Instagram page, look for the post about these giveaways, and then repost them on your Instagram page. When you've done all that, come back to YouTube and comment on any of our videos, giveaway complete, and then you'll be eligible to win. We're gonna be giving away some gadgets too in the near future, so keep a lookout because you're gonna to have to come back and do something a little bit different. All right, geeks, good luck.